Hello everyone, I welcome you all in the fourth lecture in the series of clocks, where I'll start off with one new type, type 4, where we learn how to deal with the condition of right angles. So that's the agenda, let us start. Now before I start with the next type, type 4, problem based on right angle between two hands, there is something crucial which I want you to understand. जब हम बात करते हैं ओवरलैपिंग कंडीशन की या ऑपोजिट हैंड के कंडीशंस की तो तुमको पता होगा कि ओवरलैपिंग का सिंपली मतलब है कि एंगल जीरो डिग्री होना चाहिए है ना तो लेट मी राइट इट डाउन फॉर यू ओवरलैपिंग मींस एंगल्स शुड बी जीरो डिग्री एंड व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट ऑपोजिट हैंड्स द एंगल व्हिच वी लुक एट इज 180 डिग्री राइट नाउ इफ यू रीड द कंडीशन I want to see right angle between the two hands. It means for type 4 problem, the angle which I'm looking at, it's 90 degree. But before we start off with type 4 problem, I want you to understand something. Jab hum 0 degree angle ki baat karte hai, to 0 degree kisi bhi one hour mein bas ek hi baar banta hai. Likewise, when we talk about opposite hand, 180 degree angle, to wo kisi bhi ek hour mein ek hi baar banega. लेकिन जब हम राइट right एंगल की बात करते हैं मींस 90 डिग्री एंगल की बात करते हैं तो यूजुअली हम बच्चों को बताते हैं कि ये दो बार होता है यस देयर इज एक्सेप्शन टू ऑल दीस कंडीशंस दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर बट फॉर नाउ जनरली व्हाट वी से कि ऑपोजिट हैंड 180 डिग्री एंगल एक बार बनता है ओवरलैपिंग ये भी एक बार होता है लेकिन जो 90 डिग्री एंगल बनता है किसी भी एक घंटे में ये ऐसा दो बार होता है इसीलिए टाइप फोर प्रॉब्लम्स के जो आंसर आएंगे वो दो आएंगे इट मींस देयर विल बी टू पोजीशंस ऑफ मिनट हैंड व्हेन द एंगल बिटवीन द टू हैंड्स वुड बी 90 डिग्री मींस देयर वुड बी टू सिचुएशंस व्हेन द एंगल बिटवीन मिनट हैंड एंड आर हैंड आर एट राइट एंगल नाउ एज़ फार एज़ द वर्किंग अप्रोच इज कंसर्न वी आर गोइंग टू यूज़ द सेम कांसेप्ट कांसेप्ट 2 टू मेक अ गेन ऑफ 1 मिनट मिनट हैंड टेक्स 1 प्लस 1 बाय 11 मिनट्स सो नथिंग न्यू हैज़ टू बी यूज्ड हियर बट व्हाट इज चेंज हियर in the problem based on right angle, I have to find out two positions of minute hand when the angle between the two hands is 90 degree, right? So let us start with the question. At what time between 4 and 5 o'clock will both hands of the clock be at right angle? So step 1, let's pick a reference time. What time I'm going to pick as the reference time? 4 o'clock. So let's show the position of minute hand and our hand at 4 o'clock. You would say, sir, minute hand, it's again same thing and our hand would be at 4. Then the next step is to satisfy the condition while assuming our hand is stationary. If our hand is stationary, it means our hand will not move from this position. So can I make our hand as the reference position? You would say, sir, why not? If this is your reference, you need to draw perpendicular. You would say, sir, there can be two perpendicular stone. One perpendicular with respect to our hand would be pointing at 1 and the other perpendicular would be pointing at 7 and these are the two positions of minute hand. Now for the two positions you need to realize the gain time. So for the first position, position 1, let's write down the gain time. So see, initially minute hand was at 12 and to make a gain of 90 degree, it is shifted at this position. So what is the total gain? You would say sir, 1 gap. 1 gap means 5 minutes. So for first position, the gain time is 5 minutes. Likewise, try to realize the gain time for position 2. Now, to write down the gain time for position 2, again, you are going to look at the initial position. The initial position of minute hand. It was at 12. And then it was shifted at 7. So, from 12 to 7, what is the total number of gaps? You would say, sir, 7 gaps. 7 gaps in terms of minutes, 7, 5, 35. So, at position 2, the total gain which minute hand has to make over our hand is 35 minutes. And once you come up with these two gain times, answering this question should be a cakewalk for you. Okay, so let's use concept 2. 1 minute gain, 1 plus 1 by 11 minutes. 5 minute gain, you would say 5 plus 5 by 11. Or the same thing can be written as 5 whole 5 by 11 minutes. For the second position, where I have to make a gain of 35 minutes, you would say, sir, let's again use concept 2. 1 minute gain is achieved in 1 plus 1 by 11. So, to achieve a gain of 35 minutes, the time would be 35 plus 35 by 11. But this time, if I look at the second term, the fraction 35 by 11, it is improper fraction. So, let's convert it. So, you would write 
the first term 35 as it is and then let's divide 35 by 11 so 11 3 33 remainder would be 2 so what is the answer the final answer for position 2 would be 35 plus 3 38 38 whole 2 by 11 minutes now when it comes to write down the final answer of my question you would say sir there are two answers possible when the angle between the two hands is 90 degree one is 5 5 by 11 minutes past since we started from 4 o'clock so 5 5 by 11 minutes past 4 o'clock another position is 38 2 by 11 minutes past again 4 o'clock so you are going to mark an option as your answer where both the answers are written uh, to give you some more confidence let us discuss one more question so this will be the final question of this lecture let's read the question once at what time between 7 and 8 o'clock will both hands of the clock be at right angle so first step pick a reference time so i'm going to pick 7 o'clock as the reference now at 7 o'clock show the position of two hands minute and hour hand you would say sir minute hand would be at 12 while hour hand would be pointing at 7 simple second condition satisfy the condition while assuming our hand is stationary if our hand is stationary so keeping this as my reference position i can draw two perpendiculars so first perpendicular would be drawn at 4 here and second perpendicular would be drawn at this position so these are the two positions of minute hand position 1 and position 2 now for the two position i have to realize the gain time so let me write down the gain time for position one first you would say sir for position one initially minute hand was at 12 but now the same minute hand is pointing at 4 so what is the gain time from 12 to 4 how many number of gaps you would say sir four gaps four gaps means how many minutes one gap five minutes four gap 20 minutes so the gain time for position one is 20 minutes Likewise, let's try to find out the gain time for position 2. For position 2, again, I am going to keep my reference same. Initial position, 12. And then the final position is 10. So, from 12 to 10, how many number of gaps? You would say, sir, 10 gaps. Value of 1 gap, 5 minutes. 10 gap, 50 minutes. And once you come up with a 2 gain time, answering this question will not take much time. Okay, let's use concept number 2 again. What was the concept? To make a gain of 1 minute, minute hand takes 1 plus 1 by 11. So, in order to make a gain of 20 minutes, it will take 20 plus 20 by 11. But here, be very careful. Look at the second term. 20 by 11 is not the simplified form. So, let's make it simplified. So, 20 plus 11 times 1 is 11. And what is the remainder? 9. So, what will be your answer? Your answer for the first position would be add the two whole components 21 whole 9 by 11 minutes since you started from uh, 7 o'clock so past 7 o'clock so this would be the answer of first position for the second position the gain time is 50 minutes i'm not writing this concept again and again you can realize how this concept works in order to make a gain of 50 minutes so it will take 50 plus 50 by 11 again if you look at the second fraction it is not simplified to make it simplified okay first term as it is then for second term you will divide 11 4 44 and then remainder 6 so what is the final answer of your question you would say sir 54 whole 6 by 11 minutes since i started from 7 o'clock so past 7 o'clock so in whichever option you find these two answers written what two answers 21 9 by 11 minutes and 54 6 by 11 minutes you are going to mark that option as an answer and move forward. So with this, we have come to an end of the fourth lecture. If you have enjoyed the session, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.